Peglin just got a new update featuring a new orb, the Swashbuckle Orb. Coin pegs contribute an extra damage and can target any enemy. There's a lot of new stuff, but I thought I'd start with this. It's in my starting deck because I'm on Crucible level 15. Oh, so that's a six orb. I'm on the final boss of Peglin, so I don't need to unlock any future Crucible, so I can just do custom runs. That includes five extra starting gold and the swashbuckle orb. So what is Crucible level 15? It must be hard, right? Well, it is hard. It is brutally challenging. A vicious challenge, if you will. It says that, well, whenever I run out of pegs in my sling or orbs in my sling, I have to reload. Normally, enemies get one extra turn. Now, they get two extra turns, meaning whenever I shoot my final orb, as you can see there, I got, they got three moves. One for the post orb move, two for the bonus moves when I'm reloading, which is absolutely brutal. What was also brutal was how I managed to miss everything there. Okay, I think I'm good. A little coin pickup on the way. All right, so what am I looking at? Ooh, an early chest, possible early elite. Probably don't want to do that. That's how I lose. And maybe I just want to upgrade this swashbuckle orb. What does it even do? Oh, coins contribute an extra 2x damage. Well, that's fun. I wanted to try to see if I could do a gold build, but you know, whatever happens, happens. I will make sure I try to get in this chest. Well, didn't happen. Um, Wow, at least I got three coins. It's okay, I didn't need that chest anyway. Chest is a joke, except nobody's laughing. Well, we'll see what happens. At least I got a cool refresh. Got a couple bombs as well. Got a few bombs, actually. More than I thought. I get to harvest more coins. Maybe I could go for that shop then instead. With all these coins I'm starting to harvest. Yeah, I like the idea the more I think about it. I'd take a terrible shot if I just want to farm coins then. It's not much, but it's honest work. I have really appreciated what coins have done for the balance of the game. The only thing that does kind of stink is that, well, sometimes you just gotta grind coins. And okay, I mean, the shop's not that soon. Let's see if this is 3x. It is 3x. You know what? Screw it. Give me the swashbuckle orb. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't show up that early. Oh, I gotta fight anyway. I gotta say, though, I think the bat fight is probably my l one of my least favorite fights now. There's two issues with it. One, the bombs leave every enemy at an extremely unsatisfying 5 HP. And two, the peg layout sucks. It's just bad. It's so rare to get, like, a good and satisfying run out. That, it, I mean, at least, like, the 5 HP is about what you'd expect from a normal shot. And now I got Swashbuck Orb. I was thinking I was going to target a 75-er and hit a, hopefully a crit and a refresh. That's the dream. Nope. But you know what? I do get a lot of damage anyway, so refresh wasn't needed. I just built up insane damage. 145. I love it. Take a little refreshing. Terra Ball's not so bad now. But yeah, watch. One, two. And the third one was the move. I didn't count the move. Always count the move. Like, what are you thinking not counting the move? Gosh. Oh, good refresh there. Good, now I can swashbuckle orb hopefully for lethal. Gotta hit some coins too. Even just a little bit of coins. A little bit of coinage, one more coinage. Okay, no lethal. A little extra HP hurt. Good. All right, so now what? Well, now I'm saving up for the shop at this point, unless I get some crazy other coin synergy. Pretty much going to the shop. Take me over here. That's nice. I gotta say, this fight's a bit of a pain in the ass. Good thing I have Swashbuckle Orb. Surely this will do something for me. Ugh, that's not a good HP amount. I kind of need a bomb right now. Maybe I'll target the bat until I hit a bomb. Bat does range damage, right? Okay, I should have a bomb here. Surely. You Okay, I was gonna say. That was such a dog shit run out, though, anyway. That's just what I need, though, to win. I need bombs. There's no way to win if I don't get bombs. Okay, good. A kill. Terrible sometimes hits bombs. Terrible is actually not bad at hitting bombs, I have to admit. Okay, one more just good bomb. Come on. Fuck. Okay, enjoy your three turns. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Maybe just try to deal 40 damage. I don't think I can do that. Nope, I can only get the worst runouts ever. See, I don't know how Terrible does it, but Terrible hits bombs. Not that time. It freed up the bomb at least, so I can stop suffering. Nope, the suffering doesn't end, but he doesn't shoot me this time. I guess I would have liked the swashbuckle orb. I guess it doesn't really matter. It hits the same amount of coins. Do I heal? I might need to. Uh, but I can do so much in the shop. I can get a 
I can remove Terrible and get a Relic. So I think I'm just gonna chill. Anyway, the wind blows. Ooh, not that way. Don't blow there, wind. Please no. Okay, I gotta fight. My one good orb is at the bottom. You know, I gotta admit, it was actually a pretty bad idea to have my entire build focus around one orb. Probably should have spread the love. It's just the one of the new stuff and none of the other stuff that was offered was new. What do you do in that spot? Just take the old stuff? I don't want to take the old stuff. I want the new stuff. Is that greedy? Hopefully not. Well, I do want to hit this guy. Maybe get a lot of... Yeah, a lot of coins going. Lots of numbers. Not that many numbers, but it is dead to a bomb. And they now advance. So I got to really start bombing. There we go. And a refresh. Pretty good start. Five, I hate. I mean, yes, I guess that means I just go terrible, huh? Why did I take that shot? It's such a waste of damage. Good God, that is a gross waste of damage. Now it's like I got to try to bank into this refresh. Is this even possible? No, it isn't. And I'm going to suffer for it. Still pretty good run out there, I'll tell you that. I might even try to hit this guy, because now I can refresh and probably get a lot out of it. Damn, not quite a kill. This will surely kill. Well, it's just one of them. The other one being alive, I mean, it is what it is. He only gets two free whacks at me. Then he's a dead man. He's a dead man, I say. And I escape with a little bit of life. No Servatu is a lot of healing. Provided that I am above 15 HP, which I currently am, I'm going to not upgrade anything yet because I want to get guaranteed value out of the shop. <gasps> Fuck. I was just greeting a little bit. I wanted two coins. It's kind of a choke point. Collected coins contribute to damage. Well, that's nice. Stones get plus one, plus two are also really good, but I might just go for crazy synergy. Just build up the damage, remove the Terra Ball. And just triple down on this. Do I want anything here? Maybe I could just save my money for upgrading. Or the next shop, because I got double chests here. I think that's the play. Save for the next shop. I do need to heal. Thankfully, I got no Servatu. I am counting on that heal. But I think it can work out. Oh, I got a fight. And an early no Servatu. Okay, we might have a run here. I'm telling you, I need a gorgeous heal right here. Yeah, get in there. Get those bombs. Get so Yes. Yes, get more coins. Mega heal. That's pretty good. That's a good start if I say so myself. I just need to hit at least one more bomb. Well, I'll hit it when I hit it, hopefully. And hopefully that's soon. Yes. Okay, good. Pea shooter's not a threat. Some other random assholes that are gone. Let's just get the bombs. I got none of them. It's fine. This is just setting up to generally win. Nope, I'm going to take a little damage from this guy. One, two, three. Okay, that's fine. He dies today. Okay, maybe next time. I don't like all this extra chip. Maybe I should have shot. No, it was it was a lot of uh, self-damage. Like, there was a lot of self-damage attached to that nose for Batu. I'm going to keep being greedy. Yep. What is this? Creates gold on every nine pegs hit. Well, that seems fun. Kobanorb. I don't know if that's a reference. What does it do when upgraded? Gets a lot more damage and creates gold more often. I feel like I should just do this now. Say screw the upcoming shop. I like it. That's a major upgrade. Well, hot damn. Now the good stuff. Oh, ooh, heal too every time the board is refreshed. I do need some constant healing and some more relics. The additional crit was good too, but I love healing. More refreshes is really nice. Although, enemies don't get their extra turns for my first reload. Now I see why that has S in parentheses. Yeah, but I want refresh synergy. I have cookies, so I take the bandana. Now I'll just feed off of question marks. Chop is worthless to me. It's another fight. You can start this off with a baller heal with a crit. So that's a full heal right there. Nice. Oh, that's my kind of game. Let's get some crazy damage going. Absolutely lovely. Maybe I should have targeted that guy. I just wanted to be sure I could get a kill. And now these bats must fall. Hit a bomb, please. Okay, that's, that's okay. I can target a different bat. Just hit the bomb. Oh, I can't guarantee that. The bomb is blocked because of course it is. That's fine. I hit it or I don't. And if I don't... No, it hits that! 
Okay, I wanted to see what creating gold looks like. Hopefully I'll get a chance to actually see that in action. Nope, I don't really get to see that in action, but it's not like it was much wasted damage. That's a lot of turns. So it cannot activate gold pegs. Does that mean I don't get the points from it? Let's start with a refresh here. Yeah, okay, I don't get anything from those. Good thing I hit that guy, huh? I'll get rid of this front guy, even though the back guys have more HP. It's just he does more damage. Surely it's over, though. It's not over. It's never over. Okay, I, okay, I will heal enough this time, at least. So it, it wasn't all in vain. And a little extra cheeky self-heal. I can upgrade... What is this? 4-6, more often gold creation. No Surbatu, I mean, just does a little extra damage. I mostly take it for the heal. I'll upgrade it for the damage eventually, but I think I want this to become a 4-6. I could probably get some coins. There's a very interesting synergy so far. It's an elite fight. It took me a second. Oh, good God. Well, I am pretty ready. This is a manageable elite fight. I've got a manageable build. Here's how I'm going to play. I'm going to hit this section. No crit, unfortunately. That's fine. Because now what I can do is refresh and bounce more in the center where there's way fewer um, non-crits. Way, You know what I meant. Also, I'm going to target this back guy with the swashbuckler. Make get the most value here. Can I power slide into a refresh? Nope, I cannot. I Why did I not just go left? I need to expl someone to explain what I was thinking at the time because I can't. I can't explain it. I will take a little bit of healing, though. Because it probably gets just the right amount of damage to kill. Okay, surely I can deal enough here. 26? Yeah, okay. Manageable. I do like how it's gold pegs that are created, so it does directly synergize with the swashbuckle orb. No Sirvatu probably won't get there. Maybe I'll try to refresh, and then it might get there. Still might get there. Let's see if I heal. It is a net HP loss of one. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep beating me up. Whatever. See if I care. I'm about to get a lot of damage right now with that crit. There we go. Honestly, not a bad overall fight. I'm up against Slime Boss, though. I might heal. I don't really want any of these. I will upgrade at least. Begin with Nose for Batu. I think I actually will take the heal. Slime Boss can pack a bit of a punch. Plus one, plus zero, maybe. Plus one, plus two, or bombs being refreshed. I think I'll hedge my bets. I don't trust myself to crit right now. It doesn't feel like it's a crit kind of build. It's a coin kind of build. I know there's some coin boss relics. I know there's some coin elite fight relics. Whoa, I will gladly duplicate my swashbuckle orb. Hell yeah, that's a cool synergy. Or well, just it's, it's fun to get the synergy even further going. Not off to a great start, but we'll see. We'll get a good swashbuckle orb to begin with. Oh, this is a fantastic start though. It's 186 damage. Love it. No Surbatu, I don't think is necessary. Yeah, I think I can get more healing out of it. I can also refresh for a ton of healing as well. 3-3 three, three stones are good. Nice damage. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Swashbuckler barely does more when it crits. Why don't you start like this? Oh, great. Awesome shot. Yeah, this is going pretty well so far. Now it gets a few turns. And I'm in its belly. So now let's start with a nice Swashbuckler. It is wonderful how this is going. Then again, I think I'll try to milk the nose for Batu for as much as I can, which means starting now. Didn't even heal that much, huh? Okay, fair enough. I don't know how this guy will do. Wow! Oh, that was a terrible run out. Surely I'm not dead, right? Surely, surely not. Yeah, that's a, that's a good shot. It's pretty good, too. Okay, he's dead next shot. I'm going to be missing some HP, but I've had worse things happen to me before. That's all right. It's all right. I can afford to upgrade. This does become AoE now, so I guess I'll upgrade it. I could take a heal, but I think I'll wait. Whoa, I got some golden looking stuff. You no longer obtain coins from gold, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to the enemy every two coins you collect. This is what I was looking for. I passed it up before because it sounds insane, probably because it is insane. The rest are gold, but this is the only one that relates to gold. 
Okay, I'm up against Ballista. I would have preferred the wall. And yeah, well, I don't know. Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, so I start with non-coins. So I, I now have to use my coins wisely. I already heal a bunch with all the refreshes. I'll just focus on damage instead. Yeah, so now... Yeah, every coin just becomes mega damage. Look at that! He's eliminated. Sick. Swashbuckle orb. So that contributes a ton of damage, basically. Oh, uh, but I need to hit more than one coin per shot, damn it. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. More than one coin per shot, come on. This can at least get me a ton of coin pegs. Oh god, it's stuck. It hit the bomb? Alright, doesn't hit the bomb. This is weird. It, it feels like it should be better, but... Maybe it's just... It is what it is. And what am I worried about anyway? I've got a ton of healing if I need it. There we go. More coins, more coins. More coins. Yes. Love it. Another swashbuckle orb. It costs 25 though. I might want to save my last bit of coins for removing something at a shop. It did just occur to me though that I can't actually gain orbs because I don't gain coins. So maybe it's like one you're supposed to take later. Interesting. I think I'll have to pray that I remove the stone in some other way. Ideally, I want another Koban orb to make more gold to feed the engine. So I suppose I will relax. I'm forced to get an elite. So I might as well take the shop. Well, maybe I'll still get coins now. Nope. Just don't get coins at all. Oh, it's Haglin. That's big. Because I can gladly remove an orb. I need more of those. Okay. So, I don't really know what my overall game's plan is. Just hit a lot of coins, do a lot of damage. Deal with enemies before I run out of coins. I think that's the game plan. A good game plan, I hope. It's going well. I'd like to sneak a heal in here. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, though. Wait, unless... No, oh, he's just dead. <laughs> uh, don't need these. Let's continue. Question mark to the right. Since I guess I'm not gathering coins anymore, I can just shoot it through. Do I want the chip? Honestly, yeah, I think I do. Knowing this build, it probably is... Oh, yeah. I will gladly... Yeah, take the times two occasionally. I don't know. It feels like a gamble kind of build. Let's get this party started with a crit. Hopefully it falls in the middle. Looks like that's going to happen. Get some more coins if you can. Oh, that's all right. A kill is a kill is a kill. And just keep it in the center. Times two. That's fine. This guy... Whoa, that was surprisingly quick at going down. But talk about perfect lethal. You know what? I'm going to actually target this guy first since he's ranged. Try to get it to bounce right as well. Just like that. Good, I got rid of the ranged fool. Now they're both dead. All right, so again, don't spend my coins until I find the perfect thing. <gasps> ah! Oh, well, whatever, I don't fear five damage. And it didn't even happen. I'm a little scared of the elite, though. Okay, it's just this guy. Don't know what a good start looks like, but I figured I wanted to crit. Want to avoid the times 0.5. Um, but he's almost dead, so even though I got times 0.5, I'm not really peeved about it. Seems just that damage just simply happens. Yeah, damage just simply happens right now, huh? Let's continue. Refresh also grants a crit. Every time, four times the borders of refresh gain a must circle or spinesse. I'm not refreshing four times in a build or in a game. I will take a free crit though. Oh, the obelisk. Take my stone. I want a beautiful double chest here. Love it. I think I want to go down the middle for another chest eventually. Plus one, plus two, or refreshes and crit contributed damage. I don't have many stones left. Two, and I probably just skip them every time, so I'll take the strange brew. Both chests are kind of the same. Let's try to get lucky and blow up five bombs. One out of five. 20%. That's, a, that's an F, but better than normal. 
Hero's Backpack probably doesn't apply. Refresh your course isn't that good either. I mean, I do have Swashbuckle Orb, so I guess it's not that bad at Hero's Backpack. But ideally, I do want a lot more refreshing because I do have Cookie. Fresh Bandana exists and I have Life Shaft Potion. So maybe if I can get more refreshes, this will become amazing. And it's probably good during boss fights. I probably will refresh enough. Oh. Oh. I could just give them two stones. Well, here you freaking go. I'm out of stones. I love it. Now, what I don't love is I'm going to be reloading often, which means that the enemies are going to be getting lots of cool turns. I might actually go sand arrows for blindness. I think I actually like the versatility of blindness. It, it's in a way a heal. So now what I'm curious about is whether the molten mantle damage blinds the enemy. Curious about that. So let's see. Oh god, stay away from those times 0.5s, I swear. Yes, okay, good. A times one, that's good. It does not. I had only a 4% chance to blind him. It's reasonable that it didn't happen. I'm gonna skip Kobanorb. There's still too many gold pegs right now. Let's just take the plunge. Okay, pretty good damage against the Ballista Boy. I'll take a good clean heal, huh? Hopefully that won't be a problem. Please not times 0.5. Fuck. That's okay. I can often win on this shot. Yep, I do. Pretty close one, but a win is a win. Still waiting for the one. Battles start with twice as many gold, but all purchases are twice as expensive. It's the wand of Skultimate Greed. Well, this is perfect synergy since I'm not purchasing anything. Well, that's not true. I was purchasing thing, but now I can't purchase anything. So I missed out on, I guess, a swashbuckle orb. I guess I missed out on a swashbuckle orb. I didn't know that was coming though. I just figured I'd always have a chance to buy something for 25. I'm still not complaining. This is obviously great. Look how thin my deck is. Kind of weird to have a thin deck at this point in the game. He's dead. This is a one-turner? It's a one-turner. No, I still took five? That's so sad. Yeah, there's nothing to cost the 20 gold, right? I don't think so. I'm gonna snatch a quick heal. That is too easy. This is, this is going so well. I think I can handle elite fights now. The only thing is I do need some better healing than just the occasional refresh. But I think I'm just playing the best defense. It's good offense. Yo, great offense coming up. I will gladly go Swashbuckle Orb. It is definitely the orb of my deck. Now I might as well take the fight. Or not the fight, the shot. Fights don't actually do anything for me anymore. I don't gain gold, so I don't get things. Elite fights, at least I get relics. So I can count on that. But regular fights make no sense anymore. They're a nuisance, a pain. Just a way to lose HP. Maybe I could heal during them. That's counting on a lot. And aim this all, well, we'll start with the small guys. They can still pack a bit of a punch. This is so much gold. Tuh. All right. Refresh the heal. Come on. Yes, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. It's fine. He's just gonna attack me right away, and I'm probably not gonna kill him with Nose for Batu. But I probably will kill a swashbuck Swashbuckler. Oh, yeah. Right? Sometimes I don't hear. Sometimes I do. Oh, thank God I didn't count that five damage. Crit Fleece, huh? I guess with refreshing, I do do good crits. Now that Betsy's Hedge is looking bad. Well, Overwhammer is actually irrelevant because this is single target damage. Overwhammer is good for Kobanorp, but that's it. Critfully still scales me even though it's slow. I now just need to find a way to get rid of that uh, crit. And now I just need question marks. Good. Um, Do I want to remove? Well, I have to remove something. I guess it's Kobanorb. Or maybe Nosferatu? No, I like Nosferatu. It'll help a lot during the boss fight. The thing is, I just don't know if I'm going to need a refresh in coins. My gut says no. Oh, it also doesn't even get multi Molten Mantle Synergy. I mean, it's purely a reload. I think I still just remove it. Because I'm just scaling and damage like crazy right now. Ideally, I just want to keep doing that. Okay, it's a regular fight. Honestly, kind of shitty. 
But if I could chain crits, that'd be really good. I don't get to do that. If I could get not times 0.5, please. The ways I suffer. This game is just the suffering machine. Okay, at least they get decent kills. I mean, I'm fine. I kind of want to get to Nosferatu, though. Just to heal up. I don't know if I'll get the chance. Oh, whatever. Take the crit. Heal a bit. And Nosferatu lethal. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ugh. What an awful run out. Should have been a full heal, but wasn't. It's alright, I'll probably get another chance. I do, do need a way to make Nosferatu better somehow. Maybe heal six when reloading could be good too. Bombs detonating in one hit, I think I'm good. I want to go left because there's the least amount of regular fights. I need to heal in this though. Decent battle to get some damage going. Alright. Too bad the times twos were in the worst possible spot. Okay, this time it's pretty good. Bombing's nice. Not gonna lie, this is not as much damage as I'd hoped for. It's a pretty rough start out here. Okay, that's, that's a better start. Bring on the refresh. That crit time 2 means nothing now. Alright, but none of this matters unless I get some good gold coins. So, come on. Oh, this is gonna hurt for a while. Unless I can get a refresh. Oh, good God, this is going to keep hurting. It's okay, I got my refresh. Decent, because now I can heal hopefully the full. No crit, good. Well, okay. So be it. Full heal, well, almost a full heal. Hey, my crits are good again. All right, that's fine. I healed overall during the fight. Nothing to scoff at. So now, now's the time to hopefully get something that really helps. When an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Refresh your course is great. All orbs have plus one persist. Now that's tempting. I think refresh shift makes the most sense though. Because I destroy enemies mid-shot. So I get some refreshes mid-shot. That sounds like awesome synergy. I guess I could duplicate all orbs here, huh? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I don't really... I mean, I get a little healing with reloading, but the enemies also get three turns. So let's not let the enemy get three turns. Whoa. Two? Oh, it's double coins. There's not enough pegs <laughs> to have uh, the proper amount of coins. So they can stack. That's so cool. You can stack coins. Oh, I love that. All right. Okay. Well, that is very fast growing damage. I love it. No red bombs needed. Oh, that is just wonderful. Okay, I probably should go for healing now. Yeah, but this is gonna... It's gonna keep going on for a while, isn't it? This fight? I think it will. Ow. What a bitch. Well, I'm out of coins. This build just seems like it does best if I get one incredibly baller shot. I don't even know if this will heal me, for the record. It might hurt more than it heals. No, what was I thinking? Of course it wouldn't do that. That's silly. I need a kill right now, though. Oh, come on. Let's go. Big, big, big. Bring on the boss. Basically, I kind of just need to one-shot this. So here goes nothing. I kind of just need to get a large chain of damage and just have it keep persisting. Like this. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. It's so good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I was a little worried I wouldn't have enough coins, but it came out beautifully. Let's see what other fun synergies and new stuff I can get.